We're following breaking news out of Reading, a vegetation fire that damaged railroad tracks, creating a hazard for people below what fire officials had to say about the fight to put it out. It's the scariest thing you'll ever have happen to you, I guarantee you. And some scary moments for a local Anderson family when their autistic son was lost for hours. Plus, a direct TV imposter tries to gain entrance to a Reading home. It's a scan you'll want to be aware of. Those stories and more coming up on KRCR News Channel 7 at 11. You're watching KRCR News Channel 7 at 11. Get the facts right. Following breaking fire news tonight in Reading, at this time, a fire off Riverside Drive in North Court Street, it is out, mm -hmm. but not before damaging a railroad trestle, putting a stop to trains. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Evan Schreiber. And I'm Allison Woods. Crews struggled to put out the fire on the trestle as their ladder truck wasn't quite tall enough. Reading and Deputy Fire Chief Jerry Gray told me this evening that the trestle is about 110 feet. Their ladder truck only at 105 feet. Gray says Union Pacific came out with three water rail cars to help extinguish the fire, relieving firefighters. There will be an eight hour rail closure pending inspection. He said they had to call in a helicopter for help. However, helicopters in this area were tied up, so they had to order one in from Fortuna. Gray said the two to three acre fire started on the north end of Court Street, then jumped the Sacramento River, which started the spot fire on the trestle. The area under the trestle closed off for safety and Quartz Hill Road will remain closed until tomorrow because of falling debris from the trestle. Riverside Drive at North Court Street and Market Street were closed to traffic earlier. The fire started around 645 and was under yeah, control right this evening around 9 o'clock. No structures were burned and that caused the fire is still under investigation. Tonight, Captain Eric Matson explained to us why they set what they called backburns to fight the oncoming flames. The fire was situated along the river where there's a large amount of berry bushes. It's a very heavy, dense fuel that we have a hard time getting to. 